as Mayor Ambar has told you, this is nothing for me. I come from Washington, and I lived in New York City since 1965, and I went to school in Chicago. So this is nothing for me. When Miss Pierre asked me, uh, would I come? I said yes. Because I have been invited a few times before, I could not, because we always had some conflict with events in Washington, D.C. But this year, I made the point, and I called my uh, colleagues, Ralph Latochi and Consul Jospic, to tell them, look, I'm not going to steal the show, but I'm going to join you guys. And they said, oh, you're welcome. to leave here with one message to you. Back in, nine, in 1803, there were, all, there were two countries independent in the century. In fact, Haiti was declared January 1, 1804. That's why we're here today. But, we finish our battle on 18 November 1803. And how did Haitians do it? They did it through unity. Various Haitian bands who were fighting against the colonialists finally got together on May 18, 1803 in a city called Arcaille. And at Arcaia, they all decided that they would put aside the differences. They would put aside the various flags they were fighting on them and fight on the one flag. And they decided on one motto, in unity there is strength. In French, l'union fait la force. From that day, May 18, 1803, it took them only six months to win victory exactly on November 18, 1803. And just to prepare things, they waited until January 1, 1804 to declare independence. you the same message that the president of Haiti just left at Gonaive, the place where Haiti declares independence in January 1, 1804. He just did it this January 1. He said, Haiti would not be called the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere if we decided to use the unity, unity and continuity and stability that gave us independence. And you know with Haiti's independence, what happened? The whole hemisphere became independent. The mayor already told you the history, how Haiti helped the United States help other places, help South America. But I'll be a little more direct. When Haiti defeated the French armies, I have nothing against the French today, they are our friends. The Consul General of France is real here. But when we did that, back in 1803, you know what the French had to do? They had to sell the Louisiana Territory to America. The Louisiana Territory was not only the state of Louisiana, it was everything west of the Mississippi to the Rocky Mountains, from the Gulf of Mexico to the border of Canada. Today, that's 13 states. And they sold for $15 million. Somebody has done the math. It has come to three cents an acre. 
So, today, the country they call the poorest of the Western Hemisphere had helped in making the richest country of the Western Hemisphere what it is today. It's Amen. <laughs> And so, if today there is a new awakening about Haiti and people around the world, around this hemisphere, are starting to understand what Haiti did, not only for America, but for South America, as the mayor has told you, Simon Bolivar left from Haiti, from Kai and Jacques Nell, with men, boat, weapons, and all kinds of other support to go liberate Grand Colombia, which was not only Colombia, but Venezuela and Ecuador, as the mayor already said. And you know what Bolivar said after he did that? He said, I don't know how to recognize what the Haitians did. I will do something. I will adopt the Haitian flag. So the Venezuelan flag, I ask you to look at it, is the Haitian flag, the red and the blue, and a gold bar on top. Yes, back in the early 1800s, there were two independent countries in this hemisphere, the United States of America, and Haiti, and one of them stood for freedom for all men. And you know which one it was. Today, we are teaming up again with others who believe in the freedom of all people and trying to make Haiti come back to this position first position back in 1804 to be the first in freedom, first in development, first in unity. I count on you to help us and I'm calling on all my Haitian American brothers and sisters and ha American friends and other friends to support Haiti in what it is trying to do now with a new government that has returned to the original idea that gave us independence. In unity, there is strength. Thank you.